In a little more than a week, Mobile Mayor Sandy Stimson's administration will have to present its new budget to City Council. At the end of fiscal year 2013, the city was faced with a $4 million deficit. It delayed city employees a pay raise and caused departments to take a hit. Local 15's Madupe Dowu was at City Council and spoke to city officials. Madupe? Well, Kim, you know, the administration wouldn't go into specifics of the changes to the new budget, but it's meeting with each and every city council member to address concerns about the budget to make sure it passes. At the beginning of the year, the city faced a $4 million deficit. $7 million were slashed from the Public Safety Department in an amended budget, MPD taking a huge hit of $5.7 million. Bucks. And on New Year's Eve, Mayor Sandy Stimson delivered the news. No pay raises for city employees. It was simply not in the budget. Eight months later, and things have changed. The mayor has committed that pay raises will be a part of this budget. Chief of Staff Colby Cooper says a pay raise was one of Mayor Stimson's main goal, along with returning money to capital funds. The city has eight days to present a new budget to city council, and while pay raises are certain, questions are swirling around what changes are coming, especially for organizations with performance contracts. A few weeks ago, this letter was sent out to nonprofits asking them to request less funds. On performance contracts, organizations requested 50% more than they did in 2014. And to be able to accomplish the budget because the city is trying to do more with less, we're asking those organizations to consider doing more with less. Councilman John Williams says he's seen parts of the budget and he believes all the changes are justified. This budget has gone through a process that is zero based. That's what I see. It is a result of a process that has never been experienced here in our city for as long as I am aware. So this is a, a, a product that can be justified line by line and dollar by dollar. Now, city officials would not reveal which departments or organization will experience the most change. Cooper did mention that organizations that most align themselves with the mayor's vision concerning safety and crime will be least impacted. Kim? 